talking about football, they were fairly positive the football did occur. Uh, but has any of you guys been so drunk that when you wake up the next day, you literally never want to see any of those friends, like, ever again? And, like, the only reason why you just don't immediately change postcode is because no one likes moving house on a hangover, do you know what I mean? <laughs> No one does, you know what I mean? And then you wake up and you're just like, well, I guess I'm going to start my new life now. A new life wherever the fuck it is I've moved to. I'm just saying, for a second, you're like, it would be easier just to kill all my friends. <laughs> just to kill every single friend. Because by the time you sober up, you'd have been arrested and it'd all be over. Do you know what I mean? It'd be over. But like, you want to kill all the people you walk past in the street as well, because you all know this. But, but it doesn't really affect you until you go outside. Like, fresh air, dude. When you're drunk, oxygen is the most potent drug in the whole world. It's the most potent drug in the whole world. The only reason that oxygen isn't illegal, dude, is because we would all die. It's because we would all die. We would all die. Do you know what I mean? When we were only allowed to drink in beer gardens, I've never been that drunk before in my whole life. Fucking hell, Jesus. Like every fucking day it was like a mini festival. Do you know what I mean? It's the most drunk I've ever been, the most drunk I've ever been. Well, I was in Hamburg, went to one of those beer halls, but it's over at the Steins, right? And when we left, it was quite late, dude. And it was like, we just entered this like apocalypse movie, trying to find our way home in a city we've never been to, like, just in the dark, with people talking to us in words we just don't understand. It's just like, it was like, I fucking kind of forgot that I mean, was even abroad, do you know what I mean? I was like, what are you all saying? I thought I was in, like, South London still, I don't know what's going on. But I'm just, I'm just saying to you, um, where are we now? Um, it's been a long night, man, I'm telling you. Right, when I'm hungover, all I wanna do, right, to try and redeem myself, right, just get into these Facebook, like, chat conversations with, like, with, about anything, just with anyone who wasn't there. Do you know what I mean? Like, just for hours, and like, I'm just trying to find out all about the family, like, from, like, some guy that I met once in, like, 2017 at some comedy gig. I'm just like, just keep talking to me until people can see that I'm nice online. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you get so in your head when you're hungover, right, that you don't realise your hangover behaviour is so much more annoying than your drunk behaviour. So much more. Like basically, my mate was just like, oh, "You're okay. You were just a bit quiet and sad." But I mean, this morning you just texted me the word "sorry" like thirty times. <laughs> Get this man a beer, do you know what I mean? It's much more palatable than his business. Right. So basically, I felt so bad this morning that I got back on the apps, right? And, and I'm not I'm talking about sobriety apps, I'm not talking about like Tinder and that, right? Because dating apps are for finding fun. The sobriety apps are for tracking the sobriety apps are for like tracking the last time you ruined everybody else's fun. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Right? And one of the best things about sobriety apps, and there's loads, there's fucking loads. But the best thing, right, is when you type in the addiction that you have, is a text box, you can put anything you want in there. Right, and I'll tell you this, the other week I had the really, really serious sort of digestives relapse. It was horrible. It was horrible. I was on the ground for possibly two or three minutes. It was kind of bad, right? But also, you can use the app the other way around. Like, you can use it to, like, sort of count how much you've done something. And I was like, fucking hell, I have 450 cups of tea in June. Like, who would have... Right, during the lockdown, after the lockdown, I moved back in with my mum at 34. It's a little bit embarrassing. It's kind of fun as well. It's nice. We're in balance. Nice. I've never been able to live there on my own. Right? And it's fun. Like, I was watching, um, like, like someone laughing at how far I am. Like, that's cool. That's cool. I, I, I'm feeling fragile today. Did you not hear all that stuff I said before? Uh, I, uh, I was watching this morning with Philip Schofield with my mum, right? And there was this like social media, Facebook portrayal that they were discussing, right? And then my mum said, some people in this world, right, let's just put them on an island and just throw away the key and just leave them there to die. And I was like, mum, it's 2021, what are you promoting fascism for? Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to live a nice world life and you're over here trying to start your own grand talent all day, right? And then she said, it's actually quite sunny down there. And I was like, I feel like you missed the point of what I was suggesting, talking about. I'm not saying, like, what we'll do, what we'll do this summer, we'll, we'll, we'll hit Syria, North Korea, and then we'll finish off the holiday down my sunny Guantanamo Bay. What the fuck's she talking about? Anyway, bloody hell, I've got 13 seconds left, and all my jokes are really long and loud. So, uh, <laughs> so, what? 
Guantanamo Bay, by the way, cheaper than Centre Park's that. Cheaper than Centre Park's, you know. So if you weren't thinking about a nice little holiday, you know, I mean, they've had socially distanced down there as well in that Guantanamo Bay. You know, my mum's like the main tour guide for that whole area. Um, <laughs> That I should have ended two, the two sentences before I did them. <laughs> do, do you ever feel like that as a stand up comedian? You're like, yeah. that was great, that was great, and I'm overstaying my welcome. <laughs> a bit like last night, mate, a bit like last night. I'm going to go, thank you very much. Thank you.